Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Makeup and Young and I talk a lot about makeup, but I also do some family oriented things on my channel too, so check those out if you haven't. Today we are going to be talking about my October Ipsy bag. So I already filmed my October BoxyCharm, but this was the October Ipsy bag and I had high expectations because October is Halloween and you can't really go wrong with makeup on Halloween. I mean, a big majority of people on Halloween use makeup, you know? And I will say the bag itself was adorable. It's kind of like the craft Zodiac and makeup vibes. It was really cute. I'll put a picture right here. I really like the bag and I think the bag might have been like one of my favorite things about my Ipsy subscription this October because everything else just kind of like fell short because that bag is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It has like almost little zodiac signs, but instead of zodiacs, they're like different types of makeup. It's, I love it. Of course, we are not paying $15 for the bag. We are paying $15 for what's inside the bag. So let's get into that. First, we have the Biogen Hair Care, and it was the Farewell Frizz Leave in Conditioner. I believe the full size retails for $20. And here's the thing Biogen, I don't think think is a bad brand. I just, I don't think they're for my hair. I want to start off with what I did like about this product. So it reminded me a lot of the Big Sexy Hair like Soylent Spray leave-in spray and that stuff is bomb. I've always loved that Soylent Spray. It's amazing. Um, I think that if this would have been in spray form, I would have definitely liked it more. But because it was like almost in like this gel form, it was just hard for it to really get all up in my hair. And I think that's where I say it's like, it's not for my hair, but it's also just not enough like product for my head to sample. Maybe if someone has like, you know, shorter hair or if they have, you know, thinner hair, it would be easier to sample this product, but because there's so little actual product in the sample, um, I couldn't really put it in my hair. Like I was kept putting it in, but the product itself I feel was just like not thick or heavy enough to actually cover my hair. Like it didn't penetrate my hair. It just kind of, it was like putting water on my hair essentially. Um, it, and overall it, just, it didn't really do much and I'm not sure why, you know, like I think the main reason is that my hair is just too thick. And this is something that I've said already about Biogen products is that I think my hair might be a bit too thick for the products that they send me, especially because the products that they send me usually come in a sample size and my hair cannot take, like my hair is multiple heads of hair. My hair cannot do sample size. So it's not essentially their fault um, because heads of hair are different and one brand or hair brand isn't going to cater to all hair types. They should, but you know, it's hard, especially when you get into like mixed hair like mine. So I'm not really mad. I'm just like, eh, oh well, I'll give it to someone else, you know? Next up, we have the Benefit Cosmetics Skimmy Brow retailing for $24 and dear God, do I wish, do I wish, do I wish that I could buy this product because Y'all already, if you are OGs, you already know. I freaking love the Benefit Give Me Brow. It is beautiful. I, it's perfect for like fast on the go brows that aren't like just gross and unattainable. Like it, it is such a unique formula that it makes your brows actually look very nice because they, they come together like they normally would if you had a pomade. Um, but it's also not hardening in the sense that like you put it on once and then you go to do it again and it's like rock solid and you get those chunks. It's just such a great formula. And I really wish I wasn't boycotting Benefit, but sadly I am. Um, and so I will continue to live off of these samples until I can find a reliable alternative. And then next we have probably my favorite item that I got inside the bag. It was the Illuminati Cosmetics Secret Society Palette. It retails for $21 and it is really freaking cute. It's like this tiny little palette. I think it's a, you call these quads, right? Cause four. Quad? 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 
obviously I'm not very good at math, but I believe this is called a quad palette. It has four little shade places. Wow. Wow. It has four places to store shades. Okay, this is a four palette. Um, it is really pretty. It is all essentially like pinks, mauvey pinks. Um, it has like a highlighter, a very deep burgundy almost pink, and then a mauve pink. I really, really like this. I think it's very cute branding overall, like Illuminati, Secret Society. I love that kind of stuff, especially on Halloween because it's Halloween. So I am super excited with this. I have been using it quite a bit because it's so easy to just put in my purse and go. You guys know I take makeup with me everywhere. Like I, even if I have these tiny, tiny, tiny little purses, this is like essentially my go-to purse right now um, because it is really small. And then I also have another purse that's even smaller. It is my fall purse. It's probably about half the size of that. And because the palette is so small, I can just slip that, a lipstick, and then, you know, maybe a mini sponge, and that's fine. That's all I need all day. And I love having it. I think the formula is actually really nice, too. I very rarely have found, like, small palettes like this um, to actually have good formulas. I think this is a great formula. Um, definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, now... The one thing I do want to say is that $21, would I spend that on a small palette like this? Probably not because I am using these small palettes as touch-up palettes to makeup that I do, right? So I am using these palettes essentially to throw in my bag and then touch up on the go. I'm not using these to do all-out looks and if I'm doing an all-out look, I I might want to spend $21 elsewhere. Um, normally when I try and get these mini palettes I go for places like elf I go for single eyeshadows um but I don't support elf anymore so maybe this will be one of my new go-to's and I'm just gonna have to live with the pricing or maybe I'll just find singles but I definitely like this palette and if you like smaller palettes I think this is definitely something that you should pick up and now we have my least favorite product of the bag. It was the Tarte Tinted Moisturizer. It retails for $29. Um, the, the one way I found to use this product is um, if I had already put on my sunscreen, waited for an hour before I put anything else on, then I put it on as like my workout makeup. And like, it's gonna sweat off anyways you can wipe it off with your hands. And that's the thing, like, is it a tinted moisturizer? Yes. But do I want it to like fairly blend into my skin? Yes. <laughs> and it, it just didn't. Like it's, I'm, I'm sorry, but it is just not good. It is very patchy. You almost have to like work it into your skin with your hands, which is what I was ended up doing is like every few minutes, I would just have to like pat it back onto my skin because it just, it was so patchy. Um, I just don't overall think it was for me. I think maybe it is for someone who likes to literally take a single tiny boop drop, like a pin needle drop and I'm done. Like that's it. But for me, even when I go out to like only go for a walk, I like to at least have like a tinted moisturizer on because I like to have something over my sunscreen. And this wasn't it. This was patchy. I looked, I looked like my skin was peeling off. And with, as someone with eczema, that is offensive because like 10 days out of the week, 10 days out of the week, <laughs> that is offensive because 10 days out of the month, my skin is like that. Like my skin is legitimately peeling off. So yeah not for me um also i just wanted to say that like this sample was unusually small like i've had pretty small like mini samples but this was tiny like you you literally have to take your pinky finger and barely dip into it to even make it last like a week if you're trying to make it last so yeah i understand that ipsy is like a sample beauty sample what you might want to buy later but like you gotta at least let me try it you know you can't Gotta give me more than one day, sis. 
So overall, you know, if you're like me, um, or even if you're someone that likes doing like very simple, very casual, very plain makeup, I just wouldn't really recommend this. Even, even if you're only a tinted moisturizer person, the, the moisturizing benefits in this were like not worth $30. Let's be real. I mean, you could probably get something a lot better from many of the other drugstore tinted moisturizers that there are. Really not the best product out there. And lastly, probably my second favorite product was the IBY. And now I'm, I'm just gonna say, I don't know if it's IBY or if it's IB, but I don't wanna get yelled at by the internet. So I'm gonna say IBY, because that's what it looks like it is. Um, Beauty Mini Highlighter, it retails for only $8. And man, man, is this pretty um it is very pretty it is a great price i am using it quite often especially when i do more like tan and and not so like i am pale looks like lately i've been really trying to match my arms because my arms got very tan and my legs got very tan over the summer and then my face was like white <laughs> Um, and so I've been trying to like bronze up and stuff like this and this is like one of those very nice bronzers that I think can be used on a lot of skin tones. But that was it! Those were all of our makeup baggy essentials that we got. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm going through these a lot faster. I used to take a lot of time to go through them but now I'm just filming faster and faster and faster and I think it's because I'm either talking faster or because I'm not adding as much information because I'm not getting as much skincare. I believe that might be the case. Like I haven't gotten very much skincare lately. I, I get like maybe one or two skincare items and then that's it because I've asked to be sent more makeup instead of skincare since my skin is so sensitive. So hopefully you like this very fast um, but very important video because I think it's good for us to like evaluate what we have and go over things that we just really don't think people should buy or would like um, and then also go over things that I really liked and I really really liked some of the things in here so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't please leave me a comment down below of what you would like me to film and if you did like this video please leave me a comment down below that you liked it or alternatively leave me a comment of what you got in one of your subscription bags that you loved or hated let me know i love looking into what people get in their baggies especially if they have the same subscriptions as me like ipsy and boxycharm i like to know what y'all got because I'm trying to get them too. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like the perfect like uh, I guess you would say recipe for getting what some of my internet friends are getting in their bags because I have not figured it out yet. Some some of y'all are getting some great stuff and I'm just over here with like my tinted moisturizer. <laughs> All right guys thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.